bring you a message titled Zion. Praise the Lord. I want to read to you our Christ scripture. Psalm 48, verse 1 to 2, or 1 to 3. It says, How great is the Lord, how deserving of praise in the city of our God, which sits on his holy mountain. It is high and magnificent. The whole earth rejoices to see it. Mount Zion, the holy mountain in the city of the great king. God himself is in Jerusalem's towers, revealing himself as his defender. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Zion is the city of the great king. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised in the city of our God, in the mountain of his holiness. Beautiful for situations, the joy of the whole world. It's Mount Zion, side of the northern city of the great king. It's Mount Zion, side of the northern city of the great king. Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised. In the city of our God, in the mountain of his holiness. Beautiful for situations, the joy of the whole world. It's Mount Zion, side of the northern city of the great king. It's Mount Zion, side of the northern city of the great king. Hallelujah. Zion, the city of the great king. Praise the Lord. Why is Zion so special? Praise the Lord. David testifies in the book of Psalm 122. Verse 1 voice says, My heart leaps for joy when they said, Let us go to the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, each time Zion is mentioned, there's a leap in my spirit. Hallelujah. The Bible says God is the defender of Zion. He shows himself as a defender of Zion. Hallelujah. He said, They that trust in the Lord, they shall be as Mount Zion, which cannot be removed, but abide it forever. Zion is the greatest kingdom in the universe, the mountain that is above every other mountain. Zion will never come to an end. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Psalm 128 verse 1 says, The Lord shall bless thee out of Zion. Thou shalt see the good of Jerusalem all the days of your life. Hallelujah. Why is Zion so special? That's what we're asking. Hallelujah. He said, look upon Zion. Isaiah 3 verse 20, 24. He said, look upon Zion, the city of our solemnities. Hallelujah. He said, the inhabitants shall not say, I am sick. That is Zion. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now that we celebrate Zion, God himself lives in Zion. Praise the Lord. Ah, He said, the seed of one who fears the Lord shall be mighty upon the earth. He said, wealth and riches shall be in his house. Psalm 120, 112, verse 1 to 4. Hallelujah. Why? Because he is in Zion. Praise the Lord. Ah, when the Lord turned the captivity of Zion. So we ask they that dream, hallelujah. Passers by testified. He said, God has done a good thing for these people. Yes, indeed. God has done great things with us because we live in Zion. And God lives with us in Zion, praise the Lord. The glory of the Father is seen upon us because we dwell in Zion. Hallelujah. I want to read to you Psalm 187, verse 5. Praise the Lord. Hey, thank you, Lord Jesus. He says, And Zion, it shall be said, This and that was born in her, and the highest himself shall establish it. I was born in Zion, hallelujah. <laughs> I was born in Zion. I want to let you in on the fact that Zion is a city of justice. You need to know, in Psalm 145, verse 6 to 7, we are let into the reality that this, this scepter of authority of Zion, this staff of authority of the king of Zion, is a staff of justice. The Bible says the king of Zion, Jesus Christ. He said he loves justice and hates iniquity. Praise the Lord. In Psalm 89, verse 1 to um, verse 14, it says the foundations of the throne of Zion are foundations of righteousness and justice. What does it mean? It means the pillars that hold up the throne of the Father. He said these pillars, they are thrones of righteousness, are pillars of righteousness and justice. Justice is completely God's passion. God is the personification of justice. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. The Bible says in Jeremiah chapter 50, verse 7, you say God is the habitation of justice. Justice is completely God's passion. Hallelujah. That's why God sent Jesus with a mandate of justice. Isaiah 42, verse 1 to 3. If you read it, you find the Bible says, It says, Jesus will not falter or lose heart 
until justice prevails all over the earth. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Why? We wonder. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Because when man, man fell in Adam, the earth was legally given to the enemy. Because the earth was in the hand of the enemy, corruption prevailed. Men abandoned the principles upon which the foundations of the earth were built, which of course were righteousness and justice, and the foundations of the earth moved off its course. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Bible says God is unwilling. He was unwilling to let. He didn't. It was not a part of the master plan that the foundation of the earth should move off course. And that's why he sent Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you. That's why Jesus was telling us, as my father has sent me, so send that you. Hallelujah. He's saying, look, God gave me a justice mandate. He said, come and lay down your life. That justice might be done. And Jesus is telling us, I give you the same commandments. He tells us in John 10, 17, 17 to 18. He said, my father don't love me because I laid down my life. Hallelujah. Ah, God, my Aziz. In John 15, 12 to 13, he's telling us, this is my commandment, that you love one another just as I loved you. How did Jesus love us? He said, greater love had no man than a man laid down for a man to lay down his life for his friend. Who are his friends? He said, you are my friend if you do what I command you. He was talking about the brethren. Hallelujah. Jesus is telling us, listen. Martyrdom is the highest ranking of love in Christ. Hallelujah. And he's telling us, the Father loved me because I laid down my life. My Father will love you. He will greatly love you. He will greatly honor you and reward you because you will lay down your life for your friends, the brethren, for the gospel, for Zion, hallelujah, and for your loved ones. Hallelujah. Father, I worship you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I want you to know if you're watching me, if you're born again and filled with the Holy Ghost, you are the defender of Israel. You are the defender of Zion. He says, saviors shall arise up on Mount Zion. Who are the saviors? Champions, warriors, men that God has ordained and trained to stand up in the defense of justice and to resist the devil at all opportunities and cause justice to prevail over the earth. That the, the foundation of the earth might be returned back to his normal course. That's what Jesus was saying. When he said, as my father has sent me, so send I you. He's saying, God is depending on us to hold up the church, touch of justice, and keep it burning until Shiloh comes. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. You need to know that Zion is the last post for defense of, for the defense of justice in the universe. Hallelujah. Bible says, Bible says, it says the way, Proverbs chapter 15, verse 9, it says the way of the wicked are an abomination of to God. Hallelujah. The men of the world, they call evil good. They prefer justice. Hallelujah. They collect bribes to oppress the righteous, to take away the right of the righteous. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Oh, Father, we thank you. We we'll give you praise. Be thou exalted. And that's why God has raised us. Jesus is on the scene. Saviors from Mount Zion. Hallelujah. We are the ones God is depending on to stand up on this earth and resist the devil and put him to flight. God is depending on us to defend the oppressed, defend the weak, stand up, free the, 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 the captives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That means the endless expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of God. The, the creature was, was taken onto bondage, but the creature is waiting for us to shop and begin to live this life of Zion. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 8, verse 5, it says, Evil people don't understand justice, but those who follow the Lord understand completely. Hallelujah. Why? Because He has given us the mind of Christ. We understand the nitty gritties of the working of the heart of God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Ah, thank you. Lord. I want to read to you Isaiah chapter 31, verse 4 to Isaiah chapter 31, verse 4 to 9. Hallelujah. So, God, this is what the, what the Lord has told me. When a strong young lion stands groaning over a sheep it has killed, it is not frightened by the shouts and the noise. 
of the whole crowd of shepherds. In the same way, the Lord of heaven's armies will come down and fight, fight on Mount Zion. Hallelujah. He said, the Lord of heaven's armies will hover over Jerusalem and protect it like a bear protected its nest. He said, he will defend and save the city. He will pass over it and rescue it. Hallelujah. Father, we worship you. That's why Jesus has given us the authorities he has given us. That we might stand up for Zion. To defend the gospel, to defend the brethren. Hallelujah. He says, He says, I give you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of the enemy. And you shall by no means be hurt by anything. Luke chapter 10, verse 19. Hallelujah. Hey, because we are, we hail from Zion. We are defenders of Zion. He says in Matthew 18, 18 to 20, verse 15, he says, Whatsoever you shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever you shall lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. God has given us the authority to chart the course of the earth and to restore its foundation to its rightful course. Hallelujah. As defenders of Zion, defenders of justice. Hallelujah. He says, No weapon that are fashioned against us shall prosper. Every tongue that is used against us in judgment, he says, We shall condemn them because we come from Zion. Hallelujah. A thousand shall fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hands, but it shall not come near you because we come from Zion. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Father, we worship you. In Luke chapter 22, verse 35 to 36, I want to read it to you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Luke chapter 22. Father, we worship you. Give praise. You are worthy to be praised. Jesus has sent the disciples out in tools. He told them to take the barest necessities. When they came back, he said to them, When I sent you out and told you to travel light, to take only the bare necessities, did you get along all right? Certainly, they said, we got along just fine. And he said, this is different. Get ready for trouble. Look to what you will need. There are difficult times ahead. Pound your coat and get a sword. Hallelujah. That was Jesus. Talking about the time that we live in, the time when the wicked, the enemy, will mobilize his forces to seek to destroy you because you're a Christian. Destroy everything, everything that belongs to you. Destroy the church. Attack the gospel. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And Jesus is telling us, He said, Look, listen, if you don't have a sword, pawn your coat and get a sword. Hallelujah. Why? Because we will need to defend Zion. Hallelujah. Father, we worship you, we give you praise. He told me, he said, Zion must be defended. He said, that is the reason I have purpose for which I have raised you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Father, we give you praise. Ah, thank you, Lord. If you go to Luke chapter 6, verse 29 to 31, the Bible talks about, he said, when you are struck on this cheek, you give the other cheek. Praise the Lord. Jesus never meant that when your enemies who hate you come with daggers to kill you, and you just they disturb you here, you give them the other chicks so they can finish you up. No! What he was talking about here was love being benevolent. He says, love even your enemies. He says, do unto other men as you would want them to do unto you. Praise the Lord. He never meant that you should fold your hands and be consumed by your enemies. No. If the righteous be consumed, who would defend them? Who would defend Zion? Lord, we give you praise and worship you. You are worthy to be precious. Let me tell you, the Bible talks in Leviticus, says in Leviticus, chapter 8, it says, it says, five of you shall chase a hundred, and hundred of you shall chase ten thousand. One of you shall chase a thousand. Why? Because the Lord of heaven's armies will come down to Zion to fight. Ah, come on, we'll sing there again. The Bible says of Samson, Samson took the jawbone of an ass, and with it, he killed a thousand men. Why? Because the Spirit of God was upon him. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you. If you're watching me, you must understand. Zion is our last stance for the defense of justice. And as champions from Mount Zion, we should stand up. We will stand up and be prepared to lay down our lives, to defend the gospel, defend the brethren, defend our loved ones, and to defend Zion. This is our mandate. This is our calling. We will hold up the Church of Justice until she comes. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. If you're watching me now and you're not born again, you are not a part of Zion. We don't even know who you are in Zion. Praise the Lord. But if you want to join our food, I tell you, the Bible says there is no other name given amongst men by which we shall be saved, 
but this name Jesus. There is no other way to God, no true way to God, but this man Jesus. Now, if you want to give your life to Jesus Christ, I need you in prayer right now. Just open your mouth and speak aloud. Say, Lord Jesus, I believe you are the Son of the living God. You came down from heaven to the earth in the flesh. You suffered and you were crucified on the cross of Calvary. You died and you were buried. On the third day, you resurrected for my salvation. Thank you, Lord, because I'm born again. If you've said this prayer, you're welcome to Zion, my friend. I want to pray for you now. Lord, I thank you for these champions you brought into your house. These ones are pillars in your house. Mighty warriors who will be prepared to lay down their lives to defend the gospel, to defend Zion, to defend the brethren, and to defend their loved ones. Lord, we'll give you praise. They are strengthened, hallelujah. They have character in their spirits. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you now. The Lord said to me, stretch out your hands. I'll perform notable miracles. I'll heal the sick and even raise the dead. If you're watching me and you have anywhere you have need of this grace in your body, in your business, in your family, receive it now in the name of Jesus. If you have the dead amongst you, cause my voice to come to its ears. You will arise and be healed and made whole. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Father, give you praise. Hallelujah. Thank you.